everyone, welcome to the SciTwist channel. This is the 8th edition of our book review series. Today we'll be reviewing 10 Years as a Nomad by Matthew Kepnes. This book is about Matthew Kepnes' experience enjoying the nomadic lifestyle. So I think it's quite interesting, you know, because in this sort of situation, the people you meet and the relationships you make are so much different, since usually you're, they're just going to be short-term meetings. Most of the time, you're actually just going to know a person for eight hours, and then you're just going to move on, and next day you're going to go your separate ways. So I think it's quite amazing the sort of things that Matthew Kepnes can talk about in this book. Also, I think that this book is actually also really useful even if you don't do want to do this sort of nomadic lifestyle because it shows pretty nice areas if you want to get away from the touristy zones. He explains, you know, how to get closer to the locals because he thinks that, you know, you can best enjoy a place not just by going to the site, going to a bar, but also meeting with the locals because they can sometimes find you like some hidden gems and show you some amazing places that if you look at the tourist blog or your tourist book, you won't really be able to find those things. So now I'm gonna talk about my three favorite chapters from the book. My first favorite chapter is chapter four, the planning. So this is when he is planning his trip. One note he tells us about planning is that it's just really amazing for him to go through all of these vlogs and he's so excited to go to all of these amazing places. And he says that really whenever you make a plan, if you're going to go on this nomadic lifestyle, it'll probably end up always changing. You'll probably have to go away from your plan. And that's because travel takes you where it wants and you have to go with the flow rather than you know being desperate to stick with the plan another thing is that i he thinks that you know when you're planning you seem so excited and you can only see you know the positives about what's going to happen in your adventure but then because when your brain thinks about it they're only it's really only going to filter out the bad stuff that could happen and it's going to really only think about you know I'm going to see these amazing places and things like that. And he says that don't think that this is going to just be a really amazing experience. You're going to have to go through some things. You might be stuck in a traffic jam for a long time. And you know, you will have several experiences that sometimes may make you think, why am I doing this? Can I just go back home? But the important thing is you need to go through these things before you can have the highs and go to these beautiful places that you can experience. My next favorite chapter is chapter 7. Chapter 7 is life as an expat. So he's settling down in Bangkok teaching English to kids and to actually older people. Teaching English is actually quite important there because, you know, learning English is really useful around the world, having a knowledge of how to speak the language because quite a lot of people in countries know how to speak it. So he was trying to save money there to go on another trip, maybe to Australia, to Europe, because he kind of used most of his money already on the just the past trips he's been doing. So. He wanted to just settle down for a bit. It was originally supposed to be one month, but then it became around six months actually, because over the time he was there, there was just more people trying to teach English and the amount of money he was getting in was slowly becoming lower and lower. And so he spent more time than he actually had wanted to originally. So I think what we can learn from this is, you know, for him, he has like kind of a nomadic sort of just attitude and way of thinking. And it was kind of hard for him to develop into a sort of expat life, which was the whole point of why he was doing this traveling. Because he wanted to escape from the daily routines and, you know, just sitting at a computer all day typing. 
He wanted to, you know, see, go out and see the world for himself because that's what he thought was the best way to experience life. And so I think it was kind of hard for him, but in the end he was able to meet some people in Bangkok that made him feel much better and also kept a sort of new experience every day. The sort of anticipation for every day was there because of these people and he was not just working all day but he also felt like after the day was finished he had something really nice exciting to do and the last chapter i'm going to talk about chapter nine burning out and coming home in burning out and coming home after 18 months of straight traveling he finally feels the sensation that he says every traveler will end up feeling if you do long-term travel burnout so he's been traveling for really long and he just feels like he's a bit done with it he's a bit tired of it it's lost its excitement and he's finally wanted to return home but the moment he returns home he realizes what am i doing here i was in the most free situation possible and now i return to this place where i'm stuck again in an eight to four ten to four routine and so I think this is sort of, if you're a nomadic person, it's kind of what you'll be experiencing because you'll always feel the burnout. But once you come back, you kind of feel like you were like, you just gave away a really nice opportunity just because of this burnout. And he says that, you know, it's all part of travel. If you have to go back, go back and, you know, just go along with the flow. You don't force yourself to stay traveling because that will help your happiness. You know, that's the point of doing a traveling like this. It's to make yourself happy, to enrich yourself with memorable experiences. And if you're going to be burned out, there's no point in pushing forward because you're never gonna get any sort of experiences that you look back on and enjoy. All you remember is, I was so tired, I was just walking through cities, but I felt terrible. So, I really enjoyed this book. It can help for any sort of traveler. It gives some really nice destinations to go to, teaches some really nice skills, and overall gives me a better insight and just a better view of what travel is like. Thank you for watching and see you at my next destination.